Just been down to the brook to pick up some garlic mustard. Again, an amazing wild edible. Show you the flowers close up. Nope. Nope, the phones have gone all we want. Right, maybe try a bit further away. Okay, well, anyway, they've got these little seed pods on them, quite skinny. Also, the whole plant is edible stem, leaf, flower, seed pods. And it all tastes kind of garlicky, mustardy. The trick is, don't cook with it. As soon as you cook with it, it loses its flavour. So what you do is you cook your food and then throw it on like you would as like an afterthought, like you would um, a bit of basil or something, you know. So, yeah, and just mix it in at the end and it will give you a nice garlicky flavour. Or better still, like I plan to do, I'm going to shred this up and... Uh, Maybe, well, I'm not going to shred it too much because it's very thin leaf, as you can see. But um, I'm going to cut it up, put it with my wood sorrel. I have it with my chicken. I've put my wood sorrel in the bag with my chicken to keep it cool. So I'll have like a garlicky, lemony, citrusy chicken, which has come from the woods, apart from the chicken, of course, which I believe... Might have been little, <laughs> courtesy a little. Here he is. He came down to the brook with me. Had a little swim around in there. So although his top half's dry, his undercarriage is a bit damp. <laughs> Let's see if we can get his damp legs. Let's have a look at your legs. <laughs> yeah, you're you're a little bit damp down there, aren't you? Yeah. It's not getting on my sleeping bag until he dries out, so that's staying firmly shut for the time being. <laughs> anyway, signing out once again. Oh, he's heard a sound. Is it a squirrel? Is it a squirrel, Angus? Is there a squirrel right there? Oh. <laughs> anyway, love you. Catch you later, Mum. <laughs>